Hi, my name is Josh. This is my son, Addison. Um, we are not boat builders or sailors, but with this channel we hope to become boat builders and sailors. We live in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, I grew up here, born and raised. I've traveled around the country, but I've always called Knoxville home. Um, we hope to move out towards West Coast later this year um, if I get accepted to this boat building school that I have applied to. I'll know within the next couple of weeks if I'm accepted or not. And then uh, we should head out there later, uh, late summer. I've always enjoyed creating things with my hands and um, wood was always the most enjoyable medium to use and I, I began woodworking about six or seven years ago uh, as kind of a hobby just to learn a little, few things here and there and decided I really want to do that and the more I do it the more enthralled I am and the more obsessed I get with tools and skills and different methods of uh, creating anything. Um, the reason for boat building is I've always loved the sea. Uh, I love the salt water, the smell, the feel, um, the, the wide open space of the sea, of the ocean. And I love the craftsmanship of a boat, a well-built boat. And I just want to be that kind of craftsman. Um, all around can just do anything, just be able to build something that large and magnificent and something that can take me around the world. Um, I'm nowhere close to that right now and it's going to take a long time to get to that point um, which is why we started this channel. We are beginning with a small vessel as you can see behind us this 16 foot prospector uh, canoe. Uh, we're going off the plans from Canoe Craft got their book a couple of years ago um, right there I've had I've had the book for a while and I actually built the mold um, over a year ago and just recently was able to get uh, wood for the strips and uh, today we just milled those strips the next step will be to uh, round out the edges with the bead and cove uh, style edging but uh, this first episode that we're going to show you is just building the strong back and the mold. I only have pictures of those, so it'll be a pretty quick segment. Uh, and then the milling and the gluing of the stems will be in this episode as well. And then the next one, we will show you um, milling up the strips. We're not quite sure how we're going to do it. Um, it's definitely uh, scary and frightening and a daunting task and you know there will be failures there will be mistakes and setbacks but um, I know that this is something that I want to see through so if it takes 10 years to get to that point so be it um, even with or without this channel I know it's what I want to do I want to build something large That's also undecided and we're unsure of that. So partially, hopefully, we can do well enough with the channel to uh, bring in some revenue, but um, I'm also planning on working uh, full-time elsewhere just so you know I can provide for these guys and provide for my project. You know, I've heard boat guys say it'll take two years, so we'll say two years. <laughs> two years, and the next year it'll be another two years, so. Uh, hopefully sail wherever we want to. Um, I'd love to see the whole world. I love traveling. Um, I've had a couple of different traveling jobs where I've seen 
the whole country or most of the country, not every state, but enough to know that I don't want to stay in East Tennessee anymore. Um, I grew up here, I've been here for 35 years, and it's a beautiful place, but I'm bored and I'm ready to see what else is out there and experience it and just, just see the world. I know this one's excited. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty confident that I can get my wife to come along. She's not quite as keen about traveling as I am, but usually I can convince her, once I convince her to do something, she enjoys it a lot. And I hope that she can trust me enough to uh, follow through with this project and to continue to support me and my son. And uh, I just, I need, I need her there and she, she does a great job um, supporting us. I've definitely been inspired by a lot of the boat building channels on YouTube right now. So you, I know you all have heard of uh, Leo with the Tally Ho Project and um, Alex and uh, Steve from Acorn to Arabella, uh, both really great channels. Uh, I enjoy watching them, not only just lots of knowledge and new skills being learned, by, by both of them, but also the, the content is engaging and entertaining, and it just keeps you wanting to watch the next episode. I don't know how many hours I've spent in one sitting just going from episode to episode, uh, just because it's, it's so much fun to watch, and it makes me want to get out there and do something similar. Um, you know, I don't want to do, I don't want to be a copycat um, and do things exactly the way they are, um, but the end goal is pretty much the same. Um, a, a nice big boat that I can just take wherever I want. Do you have anything to say? I'm really excited to try sailing. Yeah. I really want to learn how to do that in school. Yeah. We, we both are not sailors. We never set foot on a sailboat. Um, never even built a boat. This is our first one. So it's, it's a learning experience for both of us. Uh, we're both fresh. I know a little bit of woodworking, um, but for the most part, we're both brand new at this. And we are excited, uh, nervous, but uh, hopeful and um, determined to get this done and to have a good time. You know, we wanna, we wanna do, do the project and finish all this, but we also want to show our progress. You know, this is a visual diary of our work and, and what we're doing. So we hope you enjoy it. And if you have any suggestions on content or methods of woodworking, I know we're learning on the fly. So um, if we if you see something we're doing that's kind of questionable, feel free to uh, comment and let us know what you think. Uh, we'd be happy to take any positive or negative uh, criticism. You know, we'll take it all because uh, we want to make sure we do it right and we want to make sure it's safe. And um, yeah, so. So here is the mold attached to the strong back. Um, as you can see, I also have the inner stems mounted on there. Um, here you can see I put tape around the feet. So the book kind of recommends basically gluing them to the floor, but I wanted to be able to move the uh, canoe if I needed to, uh, just to 
get things in and out of the garage. So I put some casters on it and put tape around the feet so that I knew exactly where to put it back so that it would be um, uh, level the way it was when I installed it. And there's the other end with the, that inner stem. Uh, you may also notice that the molds are a little thin. Um, I did go by what the book said, um, which was half inch thick molds. Um, but I'll show you here in just a second um, the discrepancies that are in the book that I had a little issue with, but we'll make it work. So in the materials section, as you can see here, they call for two four by eight sheets of three eighths inch or one half inch uh, particle board or plywood. Uh, this is for the molds. Now, a half inch piece of plywood has three plies, um, which you'll see in my mold here in a second. But in their example photos in the book, their molds, are five ply just like their strongback plywood you know and that's the uh, that's a three quarter inch plywood see see they've got their molds have five plies so i'm wondering why they have three quarter inch in the photos and they call for half inch in the material section and the issue i had with that was the you see the flat five ply three quarter inch is nice and thick and strong and straight and straightness is really what you need um, this three ply half inch plywood is prone to warping in which i had issues almost immediately after i cut the molds out so you know i made it work so what i did was i installed this batten across the top down the center line and basically just nailed in each station. Um, I took the straight edge and made it perfectly straight or as much as I could and nailed those in place so that they wouldn't warp anymore uh, forward or backward. And uh, so you know, we'll, we'll just have to make it work. That's what I've got. I didn't want to have to go out and buy more plywood and redo all the molds. So I think we'll make it work.
thanks for watching the first episode of Canoe to Cutter. Um, you know, our, our goal with this channel is to basically work in stages. So we won't just have one boat that we're working on. We'll be we'll be doing multiple, starting with basically the the smallest to the largest. Um, the smallest being this canoe behind us, and uh, working our way all the way up to a uh, cutter style uh, wooden yacht. Um, I know this is going to take a long time for us uh, to learn all of these new skills and be able to build these massive um, vessels, but we want to be able to document and share our experiences and our journey with you all and uh, you know, hopefully provide information and inspiration to anyone who is interested in, in challenging themselves to do something that's uh, extraordinary and uh, unexpected um, you know this isn't something that we take lightly this isn't something that most people uh, would adventure out to do and uh, we just we want to do something great and we want to be proud of what we've done and we want to document that that journey so that we can look back in times that may seem rough um, and we may feel like we can't go on. We can look back and see how far we've come and how much we've learned and accomplished uh, since day one. And hopefully that will motivate us to continue on this, this project. We hope that you guys will come along with us and um, we look forward to bringing you more content and hopefully improving that as well. You know, I'm, I'm no filmmaker either, so that's just another, another skill that I have to learn and uh, wish us luck uh, because we're going to do it one way or another. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.